Hey everybody, this is not a screen check. And oh, what was the hot news today? Oh, well here's here's the hot news on this one is okay, there are reasons to put your hair up. Yes. And one of them would be if you have wet hair, always use a towel around it. If you have to go out. Yes. The rule helps save your throat. Well for now we're gonna bring old time on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, if you can believe what they're saying this morning, the whole nation is turning against the Republicans. They have no chance of, uh, of, uh, of, of winning office again. They have The party is finished because of all of the things that they have done wrong. The only problem is, as of the polls, let's see, they said the shutdown was 17 days. It is now day 26 into the Obama website. No one is talking shutdown. They're all talking about the Obama website. And they said that uh, when it is all done and over, no one is going to remember the shutdown. All they're going to remember is the big debacle and the President of the United States could say, oh, I love this one last night. So is night. it all red herring then? Yeah. President last night said, uh, they're, de they're now defending the President. Well, it wasn't the President of the United States' fault that people can't keep their lawyers, can't keep their doctors, they can't keep their health care plan. It's bad insurance companies. And uh, the only the simple we're going the only way we're going to stop bad insurance companies is a single payer plan, which is what this has always been aimed at. The problem is he didn't realize that people weren't going to go for single payer plans except the people who pay nothing. And the fact that the uh, the reason why they're not giving you any figures how many I lived in, in Oregon. Well, we have more we have more than zero, but not more than one that has mm -hmm. signed up. But we do have 32,000 people that have signed up for Medicare. Oh, well, just so you know, Obamacare is more popular than ever, according to the, all the polls. Um, they know that they, they, they I, I heard a person last night, they said, guy, what was it, um, Ann Coulter told the people at Fox, you can take those figures and jam it up here, you know why. He said, I, he said to Bill O'Reilly, do you honestly believe that people uh, are, are cheering Obamacare and that it is it is now 10% more popular than the people that dislike it because of all of the great things that they can get from it. Mm -hmm. And he said he did find something. He said, I can tell you, read the disc, have your staff bring out the thing and you'll read at the bottom that is skewed heavily in for, toward Democrats because they are the ones that are the most adversely affected by the system. So they're sampling Democrats as many as a quarter times more than the other people and guess what if you were say you were 10 percent down on um, because the uh, your side not liking it and all of a sudden you get 20 percent to 15 percent more of your people survey you're going to be 15 percent higher than you were before which is almost exactly the amount of people that are approving of Obamacare and Mexico ruling party ready to back higher junk food tax lawmaker. Yeah, because the guy is a fruitcake. Wh which guy? The head of the Mexi uh, president of Mexico is going to tell the Latins that they're going to have to stop eating junk food or they're going to pay for it. Well, uh, it is not going to, he, his, basically his career is coming to a flat end. When you mess with the Mexican's food, what? you are basically What's he doing? Taking a page from Obama, who tries to mess with our food continually? Uh, he's got a wife that is. Uh, he's got a wife that he's totally terrified of, like the president of the United States. And she has decided that the country needs to get in. Um, get in okay, shape. here's the trick: is they have the La they have the Latins from Spain and the Latins from the Indian population in South America. They tend to be overly heavy and eat everything wrong. While the ones from Spain are the tall, blonde, uh. blue-eyed. You know, light skin ones. That's how it works, folks. Analysis: Obama's aversion to Mideast conflicts fuels backlash from allies. Yeah. Well, he doesn't want to have. You know, he's done everything to piss off the whole world. You know, they keep running his thing that um, that. You know, uh, I'm going to reset button and we're going to correct all the problems that George Bush and the Republicans. We were very popular among everybody in the world. When Bush was in charge, we were popular. When, when, uh, uh, when Clinton was in charge, we were popular. When Reagan was in charge, we are not. We have never been in the history of our nation. We have not been disliked as much 
as we are now, and, and he can't understand, you know, why. He said, you know, I, I basically I've said the United States are villains and we're responsible for all the problems of the world. What more do they want? Well, that's not what they wanted. Mm -hmm. They want they want our support, and he doesn't think they should have it. Just, I told you that we're evil, we're corrupt, and we're going to stop defending the world. So. Mm -hmm. And battle over whether Saudi women should be allowed to drive heats up. We just saw that on the thing there. Uh, the problem is, that, okay, uh, uh, um, the Muslim religion of whom so many people in our country worship very much and want to have installed as our religion, uh, as a national religion, basically doesn't believe in rights for women. Uh, so that's the way it works, folks. It's just like, you know, an Obama thing. I mean, what happens when Michelle Obama is forced to wear a veil and told she can't leave the house without his permission? Oh my God! Then it, you know, she then it will come home to her. Yeah, they, but uh, Michelle Obama is not a subservient woman like most Muslim women are. Mm -hmm. No, she's not. And um, let's see, Tennessee judge cited for ordering baby's name changed from Messiah. Ooh, who? Ooh. Let's see. And it was this a right-wing Republican judge that ordered a change? No, it was a Democrat that said that you can't. Democrats have this idea you cannot name the people. Well, you can't name a person Adolf because you know Adolf happened to be a popular name in Germany or in, among Germans. You can't name a person Muhammad. Oh, Muhammad happened to be a popular name in my, you know in a lot of the world. You can't name a person. Uh, Hirohito, which happened to be a popular name, because you're offending people if you do that. Calling a person Messiah, which is nothing but a name for leader, that's, uh, that Messiah is, you know, how about handle? Well, you can't do handles Messiah anymore because you're going to infuriate people by saying Messiah. And Meatless Mondays are the latest food fight in school cafeteria. I mean, Obama, this is his wife again, okay, they're dumping 25 to 40 percent of all of the food in the cafeteria because the kids won't eat it, and, um, and they're dropping out of the program because they're losing so much money, I mean, uh, like they give you a piece of bread with no crust and no dressing anything on it, and put a piece of cheese on it, and that's called your lunch now with some, with some salad. Mm -hmm. And Canadian environmentalist activist pleads guilty to arson attacks in the U.S. West. Yeah, that's that's how environmentalists work. And, uh, don't worry, he's probably going to get the Medal of Freedom from the President of the United States. And T-Mobile is seen taking market share from everyone. T-Mobile is going out of business. It's trying to sell itself to other companies. I mean, they tried to they they merged with Metro PCS to try to get more market share. That didn't work because Metro PCS was dying when they merged with it. They tried to go to AT&T, they wouldn't approve it. They're trying to merge with Sprint now to save the company. When you are in such bad shape that you're trying to be bought out by other companies, you're not taking market share from them. I don't think so. And a woman missing from San Francisco Hospital found dead in stairway. Ain't that amazing? She never mm -hmm. left the hospital. It means they never... they. Uh, they're supposed to do those stairways on several times a day to check them for fire reasons alone, and the woman had been there for a good week. What? I mean, they couldn't even smell. I, mean, I hate to tell people this. You Dead smell people that. smell after a day or so. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, it was a week. A week. Oh my God. Bankruptcy not a topic in early talks with state Detroit emergency manager says. Yeah, because they weren't trying. They weren't trying to declare bankruptcy. They were trying to make deals with the unions and the creditors to keep from declaring bankruptcy because if they declare bankruptcy everybody loses uh, and uh, and you, you think that the unions are going to get uh, the President of the United States was trying to uh, boost everything by having Detroit win get in the World Series but uh, that didn't work so he's trying to get jobs brought back to Detroit which now is two-thirds he's lost two-thirds with population base they will never have the money to pay their debts in Detroit anymore because the city's a dead city. <clears throat> Which is why they're using it to film all of these apocalypse. I just found out why at the moment Detroit has become such a popular place to film. They got all of these rundown areas where nobody is at period 
which they now can go into film for sci-fi movies like that. Oh, like, really? Yeah. Remember, they filmed part of the Avengers there. They filmed the. Oh, they're I filming the Transformers that. there because they can destroy things, and then actually they get paid by the city government for destroying something and hauling it all off. Oh, That's why there is a studio in Detroit. Oh, interesting. Lots and lots of vacant ground in the city to play destruction with. Oh, interesting. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, this is for the President of the United States who two days ago defied people to find any time that he said any of the things that he said about health care. Uh, they said within minutes they had posted uh, tens of thousands of his statements that it, uh, people had taken cell phone videos, they'd taken other things, they were using news things, where he said exactly that he said he never said.